Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Sajay, today we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style of reading. So let's see what you need to know right now, baby. Let's talk about you. Let's see if it's a silver lining, something that's being hidden, something that's coming down the chute. Let's talk about you. Let's see what you need to know right now. Spirit guides, talk to the Sajays. What do they need to know right now? No place like home. Ah, home is where the heart is. So it's just a message to follow your heart. Do what your heart's guiding you to do. Um, let's see what that message is and let's see what this is all about. And Sajay, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. So how this is going to affect you is the emperor. What's the need to know? The ten of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. That's what you need to know right now, eh? Okay. It's going to affect you by becoming the emperor. And what you need to hear or advice is the nine of wands. I picked that up upright. I can't, I don't, I didn't, I'm going to take it the way I picked it up. I thought it was upside down, but that's the way I placed it. So I'm going to go with that because that's how I roll, baby. That's how I roll. All right. The nine of cups is, um, manifestation dreams come true it's getting everything that you want here but the ten of pentacles is some kind of delay some kind of disappointment this is a lack of um some hasn't come through here let's talk about this so what you need to know is the ten of pentacles in reverse clarify that not a sword nothing is out of your control you might feel like you're in like you know you're in kansas here you're in the you're in the tornado king of cups the seven of cups the moon King of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups. The Nine of Cups is here twice. You need to know your manifestations are about to come through, but, and there's a but here, because with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it, there's an imbalance between spiritual work and material work. This is my favorite card out of all my tarot decks, because this is the Nine of Swords, but in this deck, for me as a reader, this is my Neo card. You're Neo. You're the one. But Neo had to go through some shit. He had to get shot by that agent in order to have his ego death, in order to rise, in order to realize he is the one. The agents weren't very happy, right? They're pretty upset that Neo finally realized who he is, the power that he has. This is about not giving your power away. This is trusting your heart. King of Cups is a very intuitive masculine, but in this deck, see how there's this like Chinese dragon thing? This represents temptation. This is not straying from your heart's desires. This is creating that balance. The moon's all about fears and things you don't see coming and secrets. But with that seven of cups, it's like making the choice to let maybe fears or doubts or insecurities or worries or limiting beliefs um, get in the way of your manifestation. Your manifestations come true when you know and believe that you deserve something. Um, that's in no place like home. When you follow your heart, when you have that enlightenment, when you, you let your heart guide you, you get what you want. And the seven of cups in this combination, I feel like there's just some fears, there's imbalances here. There's a delay in getting what you want, um, and it's because you're giving your power away to someone else. If there's a disappointment, it's like you think that it's this person's or it's that person or it's this or that or it's the universe or whatever it is, whatever thought's going through your head here. But this disappointment, these obstacles are turning you into Neo. And that's the point of this reading is to know that, to stick through this, to follow your heart. Whatever challenges, whatever obstacles you're experiencing, um, it's turning you into the emperor. <laughs> and the emperor... Uh, well, straight up, the emperor gets what he wants or she, dude or dudette. It does not matter. This is emperor G, ener this is emperor energy, this is BDE, big dick energy. Um, this is going after what you want. You know, the whole story of the emperor is the Midas touch. Ding! Everything the emperor touches turns to gold. But, and here's the but, here's your silver lining. Gold doesn't buy you happiness. And the emperor ends up a little bit alone. He's got all this money. He's got all this abundance. Everything in his life is gold, but he has no friends. He has no family. He has no love inside of him because he was focusing too much on one area and not creating that balance in his life, whether it's a balance between material and spiritual, whether it's a balance between your feminine and your masculine, whether it's a balance between your work and your family or your love and your friendships, you know, um, this is all about creating balance and allowing your heart to guide you here uh, because it's going to turn you into the emperor energy, which is very successful. Your manifestations are about to come true, but there's just like a little warning about it. There you are. Ah. Yeah, there's that's the three of wands. Yeah, you're about to get everything that you've been working towards. <gasps> the Empress, the five of wands, and the three of pentacles. There's a divine couple. Now, I kind of get the feeling, I mean, this could be about, you know, business, love, relationships, but I'm perceiving this baby as you. You're divine. And again, we're going back to the Matrix. <laughs> we're talking about the Matrix today, baby. And if you haven't seen in Matrix 4, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler. Uh, so click off if you haven't seen it, or if you don't want to see it, then who gives a shit? But if you've seen it, 
um, then you already know this. But the symbolic nature of that movie, I know it had a lot of bad reviews. People said it was boring, but the whole point of the movie was merging the divine feminine and the divine masculine. The robots, the machines, the matrix always beat Neo when he was alone. But when Neo merged with Trinity, the divine feminine, they were unstoppable. They could do magic like nothing else. So this is about pursuing your dream, pursuing your passion, fighting for what you want, going after what you want, overcoming these obstacles and knowing that you're a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is the lucky, uh, the lucky planet, right? We're lucky. Sagis have good karma. <laughs> I believe it's brought from our previous life, but it's just the choices that you make and the actions that you take create your karma. So you've made the right choices, but there is a slight imbalance and they just want to remind you to balance that feminine and, as and masculine aspect within yourself because that's what you need to know. Um, and the advice and what you need to hear is the nine of wands and the five of wands. Hmm. Let's clarify it. I feel like it has to do with like internal conflict. Maybe you don't think you deserve something or maybe someone's up in your ear telling you you can't do something. What is this? What is this for Sagittarius? What is the nine of wands, five of wands here? Whoa, those really flew. They fell right on my little camera stand over here. Page of Wands, Eight of Swords in reverse, the Sun, the Chariot in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, if something didn't turn out, it's because the universe didn't want you there, Sajay. The Chariot in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This is the universe putting you in a different direction. They're like, Err! putting you on a U-turn. They're putting the, they're putting the brakes. They didn't want you where you were, and they don't want you to doubt in the process, to doubt in yourself. There's the King of Pentacles. There's a lot of, there's, there's my Neo card again. I don't know if I've ever seen it come out in two readings before or twice in the reading before, but this is the Neo card. You are Neo. <laughs> you are the one. Um, but this is not letting like the sun and this is becoming a master of yourself. There's so many messages. My brain's like running at a hundred miles an hour. My brain, calm down brain. So this is about master of yourself. So the eight of swords in reverse and the sun, this is controlling your thoughts. Like the black eyed peas teach us a master of the sun is being a master of you. Your thoughts, your doubts, like Billy Carson teaches us, if you have any limiting beliefs, you're not going to get what you want because you manifest what you believe you deserve. I believe you have a lot of creativity. You have a lot of potential. There might even be a lot of competition or there's a lot of people um, in your ear, but this is about ignoring that, ignoring the doubters, ignoring the haters, ignoring the people that say you can't do something. They can't do it. You can if you believe it. <laughs> it's really that simple. And whatever this is that you're working on or whatever it is that you want, you're going to get it because we have all the cards of manifestation success, but you got to follow your heart. You got to believe that you deserve it, but you also have to manifest in moderation, right? That's what Manly P. Hall teaches us. But this page of wands is, I believe there's people in your ear and it's like, you don't want to always ignore people, but if their opinion doesn't serve you, <laughs> you can't let their opinion get in your subconscious and affect the way that you believe about yourself, right? Like if your mom or dad are saying, oh, Sajay, you can't be a singer. Well, why not, mom or dad? Other people did it. Look at these other people that have been successful singers. Why can't I do it? Hmm. That's the question. And, you know, people who doubt themselves are the people who don't get what they want. The people who believe in themselves get what they want. There have been some obstacles. There have been some challenges, but it wasn't meant for you. And they want you to see the lessons and value in those and look at those as appreciative. Thank you, universe, for putting me in a different direction. That wasn't meant for me. I don't even want to think about that. I don't even want to go there. I'm in control of my thoughts. I'm in control of myself here. I'm following my heart. I'm doing what's best for me. Is there anything else you want to say? Yep. What is that? Six of cups ah, and the sun. There's something you're meant to do. There's some kind of purpose you have, Sag. Like, not, you know, Sag is your typical old souls, very spiritual, um, which means you came here for a divine purpose, for a reason. And don't let people stop you from that purpose, from that reason. The Six of Cups is your um, universe blessing you with a gift. Um, I believe as a person that when you have that natural and that talent and that gift, it's something that you mastered in a previous life and you're meant to share it in this life. You know how we have like those prodigies who can like play the piano like crazy? And they're like four, they're probably like Mozart or some pianist in a previous life or something, right? And their fingers have that cellular memory. Um, you're meant to do this. There's a special purpose that you have, a divine purpose to your reincarnation here, something you're meant to do here. Um, so make sure that you're balancing that spiritual aspect and you're following that path. No matter what doubt you have or what doubt people are placing in your mind, they're wrong and you're right. Whoa, because you're the emperor. <laughs> the emperor takes control. He goes after what? He wants nothing stops him from getting what he wants so sad that's what you need to know is to create more of that that balance between the feminine and the masculine between just create more of that balance and really follow your heart because 
like I said, they're wrong. And they want you to block out, ah, they want you to block out those people's opinions or whatever they're saying or whatever doubts they're putting in your mind. Let it go. I think that's a song from Frozen. Let it go. I don't know. <laughs> but I think there's a song like that from that, that Disney movie, Frozen. But either way, follow your heart. Your heart will never lead you astray. This will lead you astray. So let's grab a few oracles. We're going to see how you're doing in a month if these manifestations are coming through because the Nine of Pentacles, or sorry, the Nine of Cups is manifestation. Those dreams come true, wish fulfillment, getting what it is that you want because the fact is you only fail when you stop trying. And the people who get what they want in life, they don't stop trying, baby. So, Sad Jake, let's see if we need to surrender to here. Ha <laughs> ha that's what I'm saying. Your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. This is your divine purpose. So you're an earth angel here, put here with a specific purpose in your life. So fulfill that prophecy, baby. Fulfill your a purpose. All right, what is this? Let's talk about your spirit animal, what they want to say. Courage! Oh, sorry, I got so excited. I know some people get really bothers them. I apologize. But ask for what you want. Tell the universe you're going for this. Have the courage and the strength to chase it. Um, especially if you know that it'll make you happy and if you know that it's your divine purpose. Spirit guides, what's the energy oracle message here for Sad Jet? What you want to say? What you want to say? Talk to us, talk to us. What message you want to pass along to the Sagittarius? Oh, we got a few here. We got a few. Financial constraints. The yin and the... Oh, that was weird. Strategy and rest and rejuvenation. Clear as mud, right? So financial constraints means there might be financial um, struggles or maybe you're worried that this path is not going to take you financially or maybe you're really struggling financially because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. But that all changes with strategy and balance. These two cards are the yin, the yang. This is all about, first of all, this is the yin cycle, which is the feminine cycle, but it's about balancing, again, the feminine and the masculine energies within yourself. Silencing your mind, contemplating, meditating. This is about creating strategy. Whatever this is, create a strategy and stick to it. Where do you see yourself in three to five years? Where do you want to be? What do you need to do in order to get there in three to five years? Write it down. Create a plan. Um, you, when we write things down, first of all, we're putting it in writing, so it's kind of making it more concrete. I always sign. Sign your name at the end because then you're committed to this. You've let the universe know this is your plan. These are your short-term goals. These are your long-term goals. You signed. You dated it. You've created your plan. You've put it in writing that this is what you're going to do. Sign, sealed, and delivered. Um, and stick to your plan. And create your strategy so um that will help this flow um if i mean if, if there are financial issues you know stick to a financial advisor or whatever um to make sure that you're you know you're making the right financial decisions for yourself um, but also know that that's going to change here <laughs> when you follow your heart and when you go down that path and you have honest intentions and purity in your heart you will never get led astray but there are going to be challenges and there's going to be obstacles and you got to stick through them and let the universe know that you want this i want to do that Broken heart, second chakra, and third chakra. Whoa, there's two chakras here with the rest and rejuvenation, the broken heart. So there have been obstacles, there have been struggles. I believe not everybody in your life is in your corner either. And there's negative energy around that. So just do some chakra balancing, do some meditations, listen to some binaural beats, do your manifestation. Um, you know, Jennifer Lopez repeats affirmations every morning. So it's like, um, I don't know why I just use her as an example, but <laughs> it's like the, oh, what's the best way? To, okay, it's like the, the car salesman. The universe believes what you put out into the universe, and so do you. So if someone repeats something to you over and over and over, and I'm using the car salesman because this car guy is telling me this car is great, this car is great, this is amazing, you're going to love it, and you get the car, it's a piece of shit. And you knew it was a piece of shit when you were looking at it in the car lot. There was rust all over it, it has a flat tire, it was stalling. But if this person tells you over and over and over and over and over and over something, you start to believe it. That is how your subconscious works. That's how the universe works. So if you repeat every morning that this is your path, that you deserve this, you're manifesting, you know, a stability in your life. Uh, the universe is going to create that and believe it for you, right? But if you're repeating negativity, if you're repeating and waking up in the morning, ah, oh, man, I got to get up again. I hate what I'm doing. I'm not going to get where I want to go. Well, that's what the universe is going to believe. So it's just about positive affirmations, repeating the same affirmations, writing your plans down, baby. Make it concrete. Let's grab this card, uh, the soul cards, the soul cards, and then we're going to get your potential outcome. Study. Reading, research, and education help to gain confidence and clarity about your career. Very true. Creative expressions. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. And music. 
your connection to music is healing for yourself and for others. All right, so take the one that oh, I want to grab. Told me to grab the bottom. What's on the bottom? Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Let them guide you through, especially if you're having challenges here. Um, follow your heart and listen to your guides. All right. Sanjay, let's get your potential outcome. When I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you in a month? Are these challenges coming to an end? Are your manifestations coming through? Are there still obstacles? Are you just floating on clouds? Let's talk about it. Let's see where you are. Spirit guides, where's Sajay? Ooh, is that the Knight of Wands? Oh, did, oh, we always start with the sun and the Knight of Wands, baby. That's good. What else is here? Seven of Swords in reverse, okay. Three of Wands in reverse. Oh, okay. The Hanged Man. Mm. Oh, Sajay. Oh. Death and rebirth, and, and there's a three of cups. Okay, there's a seven of pentacles. So let me get these out of the way because I like to read the cards straight and I have a harder time when they're not in order. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The sun and the knight of wands is, is pursuing your dreams, pursuing your passions. The knight of wands goes after what she wants. However, there can be inconsistency and doubt. They want you to be honest because when you lie to yourself, when you're fooling yourself, you're not going to get what you want. So be honest with yourself and follow your heart. Um, your heart and your pure intentions are what's important here. Um, and the hangman and the death and rebirth tells us that the, that's the end of stagnancy. This is the end of um, obstacles, the end of challenges, because you're being honest with yourself, right? This is a message that when you lie to yourself, when you're in consistency, when you got scattered energy, when you're going back and forth, you do not get what you want. But that's coming to an end. You're going to be celebrating. Here's the three of cups. And here is your spirit team guiding you, watching you. Those negative thoughts creep in. Boom. You throw them out. I crinkle them into a ball and throw them. But whatever works for you, get them the fuck out of your head. And focus on your positive affirmations. The seven of pentacles is investment. But it means you're starting to see the growth. The seeds that you have planted are blue, blossoming and blooming into beautiful success. You're almost there. And it's a message to keep going. Um, be honest with yourself, your goals, your aspirations, write them down, create your plan. There's a man holding a heart. I do. And there's the journey, letting go of those negative emotions. The man with the heart is dealing with difficult emotions could be coming from a masculine energy. Um, but either way, and again, a masculine can be in a feminine or man, man or woman body. It doesn't matter. It's just a masculine energy. Someone who's being very assertive, being very controlling. Um, but there's a lot of emotions here. Pursue your dreams. Do not lie to yourself about what you're meant to do about your divine purpose. Some people doubt it because they don't want to believe it. Believe it, baby, because that's what you're meant to do. And they don't want you to ignore it. Um, and things are coming to, things are progressing forward. This is the end of stagnancy. This is the end of, um, not accepting your divine purpose, not accepting what you're supposed to be doing. You've accepted it and nothing will stop you from making it your dream. That's what I got. You're going to be celebrating. Your manifestations are starting to progress. You're happy because you're pursuing your dreams. So Sajay, <laughs> hope you enjoyed your reading. If it resonated with you, if it benefited you, I always ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. So thank you for your support, Sajay. I really do appreciate it. Let's close your reading off with a message today. I feel this was a very spiritual reading. What's the message you want to end this off for Sajay? Spirit guides, what you want to say or what you want to say? What some call rebellion, others call survival. Straight up. Ask yourself, or oh, sorry, as you awaken to yourself, to who you are, to your divine purpose, look around and recognize the beauty in ordinary things. That's what I got, Sajay. I do wish you the best of luck. Until next time.